Hey there everybody, this is 22TigerDude here and welcome to my DVD video game update. This is mostly a video game update. I only have one movie for this one. And, you know, because of me being a procrastinator, this is actually a very late update. The movie that I've got is a movie I've had since March. And the two video games I'm about to show you are the two video games I bought back in February. So that just shows how much I've been procrastinating lately. To already get to the point with the only movie in this update, it is Coco. And this is actually a movie that I won from the website We Live Entertainment. Um, if you guys did not follow We Live Entertainment, I highly recommend it. The channel is really great too. They had this Oscars competition, you know, when the Academy Awards was going on. And I entered in their competition. After the Academy Awards was over, it turned out that I came in second place. And so my prize was that I get to choose a Blu-ray and the Blu-ray I chose was Coco so I want to thank We Love Entertainment so much for sending in this film I really do appreciate it once again I highly recommend following We Love Entertainment if you don't great website great channel and the people over there are just wonderful everything I need to say about this film is already in my movie review but to really keep it short I absolutely love this film it is my favorite animated film of 2017 I think the animation is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking which is to be expected in a Pixar film at this point but it really is just so gorgeous the land of the dead is just so breathtaking to look at it knows the importance of family it really celebrates family the Mexican culture they really did a great job of just really showcasing what the culture is all about and it did make me ball not like just cry it made me legitimately ball at the end because of how moving and how powerful it was the music too uh, was also wonderful here as I already said in my review the music not only was it just so wonderful but it really did fit the culture that this movie was representing. I love the character of Miguel. I loved Hector, especially with how uh, deep they do get into him later on in the film. I thought that was really handled very well. Miguel's family also thought was very entertaining. Um, there were funny moments, but obviously when we got to the more dark, um, deep moments of the film, it definitely really succeeded there as well. Uh, this is... Uh, beautiful film it really is the definition of a beautiful film it's one of the darkest pixar films without a doubt but it's definitely one of their most beautiful films as well it has a great balance i never felt the tone was out of place in this film i thought it had a great balance to it and i do think once you're done watching this film it just makes you want to hug a family member and it makes you want to tell them how much you love them and appreciate them because um, you know, family really is an important thing in your life. Just cherish the memories with your family while you still have them around. So that's my only movie here, and now let's get to the video games. Like I said, the video games that I bought at Media Exchange back in February. That's how you know I'm very late with this. Uh, so the first video game I have is Tomb Raider. I bought this game um, in preparation for the Tomb Raider movie that came out in March. So I had a month to play this game. I was able to finish it uh, very fast, actually. Uh, I, I'm just going to say it. Uh, this game was so addicting. I literally had a hard time putting down my controller because of how addicted I was to this game. From the minute I started playing this game, I never wanted to stop playing it. It took me five days to finish this game. Um, normally with video games, they'll take me a little bit longer than that, but with this game, I managed to finish it in the span of five days, and man, what of a hell of a five days that has been. I love this game. This is a game I've wanted to play for a long, long time, actually. But I just never got around to it or found the time to really buy it or play it. But thanks to the Tomb Raider movie, which I actually did have a lot of fun watching, by the way. I'll try to do a movie review for that one soon. But I will just say short and sweet, I did have fun with the Tomb Raider movie. After playing this game, I really want to buy and play Rise of the Tomb Raider. I'm definitely going to buy that. So 
I'm assuming that'll be maybe my next update. If not, maybe the update after that. We'll just see. But yeah, I'm going to buy Rise of the Tomb Raider soon. I am so looking forward to it. This gives me everything I want in an adventure game. I am a sucker for adventure games. And Tomb Raider is one of the best adventure games I played. Um, the storyline I found to be very interesting. It does have its issues. Like certain things do feel repetitive. And you can predict where it's going to go. But I still did find myself very interested in the storyline the gameplay is the major standout however this has some of the greatest gameplay i've ever seen oh my god the gameplay in this movie was incredible i love the weapons that laura croft got to use in this game with the obviously the bow and arrow and then all these guns that she has i loved every single weapon that she got to use there's not a single weapon that i found to be weak i loved all the weapons that she got to use in this game i love the locations the graphics are incredible i think the graphics are absolute perfection i think it is a masterpiece when it comes to the graphics not a single detail in the game felt out of place the look of laura croft is truly phenomenal same for the other characters that you see in this game the locations just talking about it makes me want to play it again actually because wow it was so good it was it's more than good it's incredible it blew me away and I did love Laura Croft I really love the character I really got behind her story I felt bad for her oh and I forgot to mention you could really feel uh, every single bone she breaks because she falls so many dang times in this game but this gave me one hell of an experience. I truly did love this game. Looking forward to Rise of the Tomb Raider. And I am looking forward to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is going to come out this September. Definitely one of my favorite PS4 games. And the last uh, video game right here um, is Battlefield Hardline. I really did not know anything about this game to be honest I saw no footage nothing I just bought it and was just hoping to really have a fun time with it it didn't have to be like this great game like Tomb Raider was I was just hoping it'd be at least a very fun game in my opinion it's very lame this is not per se a bad game but it is such a lackluster lame game that does not have a lot to it Sometimes this is fun to play, but it's very far in between where I'm actually sitting here and going, oh yeah, this is actually a fun game. It's just really boring and it's a real drag to play through these episodes because there's a total of 10 episodes in this game and it's really hard for me to get through it. I do like the graphics. Uh, some of the locations that you see the characters go to are pretty neat. Um, but I just don't think the gameplay is all that fun. They don't really do much to change around the gameplay in my eyes. Uh, and the story, I don't even think the story is that interesting. The twist and turns they throw into the story is so predictable. I'm going, these are twists and turns I'm supposed to find unpredictable because that's how they come off in this game every twist and turn that happens even the story i see coming there's nothing surprising about this game like i said in my opinion i don't think it's a bad game it's just very dull it's very lame it's just so eh. it's been a long time since i felt so Eh, about a video game so that does it for my blu-ray video game update guys i know it's not much like it has been lately but um just wanted to showcase it uh before i get even more lazy to film this so let me know in the comments down below what you think of coco tomb raider and battlefield hardline Thank you as always for watching everyone. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.